have you on call. Thank you. Thank and you. Digna, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, me. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. You're crushing it. So you went from, and you've been crushing it since day one, but then over the last 60 days, you really started crushing it. And the thing about you is you're just a grinder. And I love that about Digna too, because like, guys, I'm not trying to be weird. And this Digna is not going to take offense to this. Digna asks me some questions sometimes that I'm like, how is this chick writing 50K a month and has a team doing 200K? And she asked me that question because she just grinds. That's it's in her blood. She's just a grinder. So Diggs, I'd love for you to kind of um, obviously introduce yourself for anybody who might be new to the call that doesn't know you and kind of your story, your background before you got into FFL just briefly and then how, you know, what's kind of changed for you. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so excited and so happy and I'm so grateful for you because, I mean, seriously, I'm here today and I could tell you because this young lady here has saved me so many times because I came from a different world, right? So first of all, I did network marketing. I did corporate America a long time ago, long, long time ago for many years. And I know what it's like to run a big business, right? Like I run $82 million operation for corporate. I, I knew what that was like. And it's like, I didn't have a life. I was the, I was so sad. Like I didn't have time for my family. So I know I don't want to do that. I have two college degrees that I don't ever want to use, right? So that's in the past. And then I went into network marketing and selling and all the stuff that you could imagine, all the businesses that you're looking at right now. I've done it all, okay? And and then my husband made me get my license back in 17, which I didn't want to do. I said, that's the last thing I'm going to do to sell life insurance. Like, no way. But he really wanted me to do it for our family. That's how I got my license. So this is not something that was part of my plan. I want to sell life insurance. This is, no, no, absolutely not. Uh, we did really good in network marketing. My husband and I earned a lot of money and we lost all the money, okay? And that's why we got into this financial services and learning more about money, all that good stuff. Uh, but I was in this industry for almost four years, guys, four. I had no idea that there was such a, uh, then as a lead that you could buy. I didn't know that you could have uh, more than one company. I didn't know that you could um actually get paid every day. Like I come from where I was, I was talking to friends and families and I was, um I was doing, uh, getting paid twice a month. If they get approved, clients going through medical and two months in the pipe waiting for them to come out and maybe I get paid. And like working so hard around this until I found out that there was such a thing as family first life. So for those of you that are brand new to this company, you have no idea how lucky you are. And if you came from another company, like, hello, like do this thing. Like when I saw this, I don't care. It hasn't been easy. I'm going to tell you right now, it has not been easy because I had to relearn and unlearn all the stuff that I knew because I was, I was complicating this thing so much at the beginning and that's why it took me so long like it's been two and a half years and i'm like man this is not like i made it so hard at the beginning and some of you guys are doing that right now you want this thing to be more difficult like you want me to come here and say oh well she's so special she no 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 i didn't know anything about this guys like they told me you got to call this lead three times and i'm like that's crazy i'm not doing that that's stupid and then they didn't pick up and then i called three times and they picked up and i i was like oh, okay i'm gonna call them three times so that's what i have to do and you know it was so many things i was fighting at the beginning and if you're doing that right now understand that everything that your manager your mentor is telling you <laughs> just do it I'm, I'm telling you just do it because I, then when I started listening and, and then getting help, like I, I'm always getting help. Like, how do you do this? And and going to the event, I don't miss an event. I don't care what it is. I'm there. Like, I don't care if I had to fly. Like, like I'm going to tell you right now, guys, that event in Texas, I wouldn't miss it for anything. Like I talked to Juan Franco at convention and to Shadi for a few minutes. And my business is, is going wild and wildfire because I've learned some things about IULs. And I'm like, hello, I could do that too, right? But but I had to go through everything that I went through just like you. If if you don't have money to do Facebook ads and all that good stuff, hey, I was calling the same leads you're calling right now. And I still wrote 250 grand last year on my personal without my agency, right? Calling the three months and the one month and the 50 cents and you name it, all of them. But you have to show up every day, right? So that's one thing about me. I'm a mom of four. 
So it's not like, oh, this is it. She doesn't have a life. No, I have a, I'm a wife. I'm a mom of four. I'm a, I'm, I teach in my, my church on Monday nights. I just came from there. I mean, I'm busy. I'm super busy. But that doesn't take me away from, from grinding 12 hour a day, six, seven days a week, every single day. Some people show up when it's convenience, when it's good, when, it, when they feel good. So it's all about the feelings and the feelings are not going to take you anywhere. You have to do it when it's hard. And there's been some really hard time in this business. And I still, I was still here with tears in my eyes. I was still grinding and texting Marissa like, oh my God, this sucks. And I was still here because I, there's such a big opportunity for all of us here, guys. Some of you guys are entrepreneurs and some of you guys have been doing businesses for a while, or maybe this is the first time you do a business. What, what? Oh my God. Well, Family First Life, Sean Mike put together for us, like nobody has, it. like nobody. Like, I'm like, how? How did I get so lucky to get here? Like, I don't care how bad it gets. Like, I'm, they're going to have to kick me out. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I'm, I'm here forever. Like, that's it, Marissa. You stuck with me. Oh, great. No, I love that. Um, Diggs, real quick, because I want to back up. So you have not, you didn't have it super easy in this business, even in FFL right? You've gone back and forth. We've had phone calls. You've driven to events, right? Nine, 10 hours so to meet me so we can train the team, whatever. So you've had obviously lead batches that you buy and, and then you didn't, you didn't sell anything, right? You've had days where you get no showed the entire time, right? Oh. You've had days where you're like, wow, I, you know, I want to blame the leads, but I'm not going to blame the leads because I know I can do it, whatever, whatever. And you've had days that just like kind of suck, right? How, and, and a lot of times too, is, is pe I think people think as a new, like those days are going to go away. Like no matter how big you get, you're still going to have days that suck. But Diggs, as a new agent, cause you came in, I remember you didn't want to dial leads. You were like, this, this is weird. I don't want to do this. I want to just talk to people I know. And you didn't quit. So what is, what is like your mindset behind, like a lot of people won't even go through a hundred of what they dial like three leads and they're like, Oh, this is hard. I'm out. Oh, this is hard. I'm out. What's your mindset around like, even on the not so great things here is still better than whatever else you could do. There's nothing like this guys. And I, and I had some really bad times and I said, I, I don't, I just don't quit. Like personally, I don't give up. Like I'm going to figure this out somehow and it's going to take time and it has taken time. And I tell you, I remember one Saturday because I said, you know what? I see too many people posting sales. They, they're not fake. Like they real, like this people are selling, like <laughs> this is happening. If it's happening for them, guess what? It's going to happen for me. And I remember one Saturday, uh, maybe, you know, about a year and a half ago, what I was just dialing leads, right? This is really all leads and you get all the crazy people, right? Nothing, nothing. Saturday. And I remember that day changed my everything here for me. It was lead 138, okay? Dial all of them three times. 138 was the sale. It was a, a wife, a husband, and a kid. And I said, oh my God, I just had to wait to 138 calls to get the sale. I'm staying here tonight. And I did five sales that day. And you see, when you do that, when you understand that if you keep going at it once, you're going to compound that, that time that you're dialing and you're going to get better. Because when, when the next person showed up, I was ready. I wasn't ready maybe for the other ones. And that's why they didn't pick up. I'm like, oh. Good thing they didn't, but you just got to stay and keep doing it until it happens for you. That's, that's my, my thing. Like I'm going to do it until I don't care how long it's going to take. If I got to put more time, what lead I got to buy, who I have to call, where do I have to go? How many lockings I have to do? It doesn't matter to me. Like I have no limits. Like my family already knows how crazy I am. My, my, my family doesn't invite me to anything because I already told them. Like, don't invite me to weddings, no baby showers. I'm not going to birthday parties. Like, I'm off limits for the next two years. Like, I'm like this. I'm I'm not even kidding you. The people that know me, they already know that how crazy I could be. And I'm like, no, I don't have time for that. I'm sorry. You got what? No, no, that's not. No, let's dial some leads. Let's go. Let's make some sales. Because that's what's changing my life. And the people that are they they are working with me, I have a responsibility to work with them to help them. But guess what? They don't show up. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not gonna call you. I don't have time for that. I have ten people waiting for me to call and do life insurance for them. I can call you and see if you got up from bed. That's on you. So you gotta show yeah. up for you. Yeah.
So Diggs, that brings me to a good point. I want to talk about your expectations for your team because sometimes I'll be honest, I get people that reach out and they're like, Hey, can we get on Digna Zoom? And I'm like, dog, you don't want to get on Digna Zoom. She will, she's going to chew you up and spit you out unless you get on there ready to dial some leads. So talk about your, because I think that's one of the reasons you're having a ton of success as well is the expectations that you hold your agents to and what, what are they? What does that mean? And if they don't do that, then how do you how do you kind of do that from a leadership standpoint? So, yes. Uh, so he, here's one thing I'm going to say before I go into that is that some people, they call people and they ask for help. Like, can you help me? How did you do this? How did you, and you tell them and they don't do it. And, and it's like they'll come back with the same questions. I don't have time for that. Like that really gets me like so upset. Like I just told you about those things. Like you asking me again, like, did what do you do? Like, really like I, like my time is so valuable guys when somebody told me digna how much and i'm going to tell you i just did it with my team on a training the other day i wrote one iul and it was nine thousand six hundred dollars and it was 30 minutes so from there on my hour is worth nineteen thousand dollars so i am not giving you my one hour that i could write two iuls but you just told me nonsense. I'm sorry. Get on with me. Listen to me dialing. And let's, let, let me give you some leads to dial. That's it. Like, really think about that. Because that, that time is the only thing that you won't have more of. I'm going to have more money. I'm going to have more of everything. I'm not going to have more time. So I don't play with that. My team knows that. We open we open the agency. Everybody gets on. The managers are on. They have their, their team with them. The cameras are on. And we're dialing. We're getting sales. They come and get me if they need help with an illustration, they need help with a client, they want me to help them close, I'm on the phone with them, let's go. Don't come to my Zoom to hang out. That's not what this place is for. This is my virtual home office. That's why I call it. And then you come here and we are all working. So don't come here to hang out because we are working and we're writing business. And there are people that they're, you know, mortgage is, is depending on this, including mine. So I'm not going to waste my time with you when you just want to see what are we doing here what's happening and asking the same questions over and over when it's let me tell you guys it's so simple i had agents that never ever sold a policy over the phone they they used to knock on doors and i have those same people writing 20k a month on the phone they've never called the lead like they, they used to knock on doors they didn't have leads right and and why because there's a system it's just a lead and you call it as many times as you need to call. You send text messages and you, you call them at different times. You call the different dates and you get them on the phone. And then you show up to help that client. And you too will have success. You just got to do it over and over and over. There's no secret, guys. Like I laugh sometimes and I'm like, people might think there's a huge secret that something's going on. That No, no, we got leads and we're calling them. And we show up every day, six days a week. Yesterday was Sunday. And I take Sunday for my family and I couldn't, my, my, my team was all over the place signing policy and how do I do? And I'm like, oh my God, can I go to church today? Can I please take a day off? They were on fire yesterday because they're so hungry for this guys. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Some of you guys need to wake up and smell the roses. This thing is happening with or without you. And there are so many hungry agents out there that's who i want and that's who i'm attracting into my agency i want people that are hungry for this they just like sick and tired of the nonsense the other businesses that don't work all the agency that just like they just lie to people they just tell them all this nonsense and they don't do anything right and they don't have leads and people are knocking on doors and they have 40 percent commission all that nonsense they could have a real business here and those are the people that i i want to attract so Again, you're going to build an agency with people that are just like you. So if your yeah. agents don't show up, maybe you're not showing up for you. If your agents are complaining, maybe you're complaining too much. If they don't see you grinding, guess what they're not doing? They're not working. So uh, for me, it's like, I, I'm sorry. I might be too intense for some people. And, and, and I don't mean it that way. I love everybody and they know that. I mean, I'll, I'll take my shirt off and give it to somebody, but but you got to earn that. You can just show up and think you have seniority or you have the, no, show up like everybody else and do the work. I love that. So Diggs, what's your process for getting a new agent started? You're literally like, here's your script and call the leads and don't, don't call me until you have a lead on the phone. 
No. Well, <laughs> they have to show up on Zoom and then we role play, right? I want them to sell me whatever is an IUL or whatever it is. So we, we role play together. They got the script. And then it's like, okay, you're ready. You got your, your contracts. Let's go. There's your leads. Let's call them. I'm, I'm going to have them with headset right here on the Zoom. And I'm talking to them in their ears and I'm telling them, hey, no, don't do that. Don't say that. No, they go, no, do this, do that. Boom, boom, boom. And then that's it. It's that easy, guys. Like they just, I have people that they were just reading. I mean, I'm like, oh my gosh, they like the, the client doesn't even know. Like they literally reading everything that's on that paper. And they just reading and they get a policy done like that in 30 minutes. And that like, where else can you do something like that? Where else can yeah. you have a person that never wrote a policy over the phone do a $6,000 in 30 minutes? Like, where else can you do that? Like, just yeah. here, guys. It's a huge opportunity. And I think some of us, and I was, we're wasting a lot of time. Like I was wasting time not recruiting. That's another thing. Some people are waiting. And and when I went to convention this time with my team, this is one of the things that everybody and I and I had a meeting and we had a lock in right after. I said, what was the one thing that everyone that was on stage that was making a lot of money and doing really good? What was the one thing that they said? And everybody was talking about the same thing. You got to do social media and you have to recruit like from day one. Like that's the one thing they regret. Like I didn't do it from the beginning. And and some of you guys are just waiting like for somebody to tell you, hey, go and recruit. Nobody's going to tell you that because this is your business. So my new agents, as soon as they come in, let's go. You want to recruit? You just want to sell? I, I don't care what you want to do. Like if you just want to make 10 grand a month, I'll help you do that. You don't have to call anyone. You don't have to recruit anyone, but I, I, I would encourage you to do so because you're going to regret it later. And, and yeah. that's why the team is growing and people are excited. We're posting everything on social media. I get people every single day. I have five, six, seven, 10 agents on Instagram reaching out to us because they yeah. want to know what we're doing. They want to work with us. So Diggs, like two months ago, you didn't know anything about IULs really. Well, none. I have my own IUL. That's about it. But I wasn't selling IUL at all. Like I was just doing my final expense and my, you know, not even mortgage protection a little bit, but just no, I wasn't doing any IULs. Okay. So talk about that. Do you feel like that transition has helped the team explode? Crazy guys. Crazy. I just want you to think about this. And I realized this, the same amount of work that you're going to do for $50 a month or $30 a month, Final expense is the same amount of work you're going to do for an IUL. It's the same amount of work. If it's 30 minutes, if it's an hour, it's the same thing. Here's the difference. This is what we're finding. The clients are more qualified. Like they already, they're looking for this information. They're reading stuff. They have some idea about what they want. They have money. They have bank accounts. Uh, some of them want to uh, retirement money. They have a 401k. We're finding annuities in the IULs clients because they have, we, we had an annuity last week with a, a Fraser that we're going to put in for $60,000. But the guy's like, hey, I have an all 401k. Can I do something with that? Can you guys help me out? Yeah, of course. We can help you. So there's so much happening so fast. And it's the mindset, guys. You have to be able to understand that if you don't change, nothing is going to change for your business. I have to make a decision to change, to switch what I'm doing and to open my mind to other opportunities, right? Like IULs. Like I didn't even want to transition. I was like, oh, that sounds like crazy. Oh, these people sound too smart. I don't ever want to sound like that. <laughs> I was like, I want to make it simple. And you know what I did? I made it very simple. I made it so simple for my team that I get on the phone with the client and I talk to them and it's like, they are so ready. Like, can you qualify me? What do I need? Well, you need three things. You need your health, you need a good driving record and you know criminal record and you need your, your income. So we're going to talk about those three things. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. And I get everything from them. So and Dick, a lot, of, a lot of times people think that that's so complicated. And I would love to say that you started that, but you did it. That's from the boot camp. Yeah. That's what Cal, that's what Cal oh, that, that's in the book. And, and the thing is, I had a conversation. With, let, let me tell you what really changed my mind, guys. No offense. I love Juan. He is the most amazing man I've ever seen. He's so sweet. 
But I invited Juan to my team call on a Saturday. And, and I've been inviting him forever because we've met in different events. And I'm like, Juan, when are you going to do a call for me? So he finally did the call for me. And it was so amazing because he showed up and he's talking to the team in Spanish. And then my team is asking all these crazy questions like, so what books have you read? And what? how do you send that email? He's like, well, I just send the link. No, I hadn't read any books. No, I just, I just tell him like he was the most simple, crazy. I'm like, what? He's just, he's not doing anything special. And he's writing 1.2 million a year. I'm like, are you kidding me? We could do this guys. And that put my team on fire. They're like, this guy is writing 1.2 million. Okay, we could do it too. And, and that's what I want you to know that this, I mean, those guys have nothing special. They just like, they go at it every single day. Here's the other thing. They invest in leads. They don't, they don't hold back. And that's one thing you have to understand. You have to sell because you need to invest in your business. If you don't have money to buy leads and to be able to do the things that you need to do for your business, it's going to be harder for you. If you're just trying to, you know, call the same old leads a hundred times, because some people, guys, you cannot do this business if you don't buy leads every week. I buy leads every single day, not every week, every daily. So if you think you're going to buy leads, there, there are people here. And I want you to just, just look at your neighbor and say, that might be you. I don't know who it is, but there are people here that you cannot remember the last time you purchased leads in this business and you want to write 20K this month. It's not going to happen. I have good news for you and bad news. Not going to happen. You need to buy leads and you need to call the leads and you need to dial the leads and you need to like whatever. But if you, if this is one thing that Juan said that really got my attention, he said, Somebody said, so Juan, what do you do with somebody that you call like three or four times and they don't pick up the phone? And he said, well, I don't call that person back. I just buy another lead and I call them. I just keep buying new leads. And I'm like, well, that's the secret. I'm going to buy more leads. But again, yes, dial your leads and call those people, send them a text message. You know how many people I get policies because I just send text messages to them when I have downtime, right? Sometimes we just want to make an excuse and we want to think that it's more difficult than what it really is so we could we could you know give that excuse to ourselves it's not difficult guys it's just commitment you have to show up for you every single day i'm telling you right now that some of you guys are going to look back and that's what i was like there's no way dig not you are not missing out on this one you're going to come back here six months from today some of you guys are going to remember tonight and said man i should have started recruiting then I should have bought more leads that time because some of you have money for other things. I'm going to tell you that I tell my team like, oh, well, I just saw you bought this thing or that thing or you went there, you, but you didn't buy leads. So guess what? You're not going to make money because you're not buying leads, but they're using the money for other things that are not as important, guys. So you have to like some people also, and I have to say this because this is what I've, I've gone through. You too much focus on you and your present situation and the drama and what's not working. And I, I promise you that that's going to keep you there. When you look at your, whenever you feel like things are not working out for you and things are going bad and all the drama, you're focusing on yourself and you're being selfish. And that's why you're not growing. And that's the minute I got myself out of the way. And I said, Dignus is not about you. There are too many agents knocking on doors. There are too many people that need this opportunity. There are too many families that are not protected in America and especially Latino community. And you have an opportunity with this company to make a difference. Get yourself out of the way and go and recruit and go and help people. And, and that's what I do all day. And I love every minute of it. Like I, I go to sleep with this business. I get up with this business and I'm like 24 seven. Because yeah. the, the opportunity is so huge. Yeah. So Diggs, I want to talk about your leads real quick. So you're running Facebook final expense leads. Okay. I'm running Facebook uh, final Facebook. expense and IUL. IUL. So okay. So she's generating things in Spanish. Okay. And a lot of times people have reached out. Well, they reached out to me and they've been like, oh, you know, Digna, Digna's running her own leads. It, it must be better. I'm like, guys, this is what you don't understand about what Digna's doing. Digna had to generate leads because we didn't have leads in Spanish. Those of you that speak English, we have a lot of leads. Digna wishes that she could use those. So she was messaging me all the time. 
and was like, hey, Marissa, what can we do to get more Spanish leads? What can we do to get more Spanish leads? And I'm like, I'm working on it. I'm texting Andrew Taylor. I'm texting Sean. Like, hey, can we get more Spanish leads? Can we do this? Can we do this? this?" So the reality is if Digna had the ability to buy the leads that we have in the ILC, to buy the leads that I know Frankie Femia's team runs, to Nitro leads, all that stuff, because they were Spanish speaking leads, she wouldn't be generating her own. She's only doing that because that was her only option. So a lot of times, too, digs people are like, oh, she's running her own lead, so it must be better. Like, it's not better. She's running the exact same thing everybody else is running. It's just in a different language. And unfortunately, guys, it's more work for her to run the leads and then have to figure out how to get the leads out to her team. And then they have to buy the leads and all that stuff. Like, that's actually, she's working and producing a lot harder than us. Whereas if she could just go in the ILC and just get an English-speaking lead, they would do it. Like, imagine that, digs. if you didn't have to run leads and then got to do it. You, you guys have no idea. When I get... Uh... Agents that are bilingual, I'm like, yes, because there's so much for them. I said, you got such a huge opportunity. The Spanish speaking people, there's no leads out there. So again, I was driving her bananas every day. Like I need leads. How am I going to do this? And I was like trying everything. And that's how I have to, like, I have to generate my own. I just copy what the English ones say and put it in Spanish. I didn't do anything special. And we're running leads and on, on, on social media. And then now I have to give to my team because there's nobody else has leads, right? So that's it, guys. But in English, there's so much. There's so much. And you have like no excuses. Like I, what I was doing too, I was running English leads. So I don't take the Spanish one so I could give it to them. So again, no, no excuses and no reason why we don't take this business to the next level. Every time I speak to a family and I hear their concerns and what they're looking for, like there's so many people waiting to give you everything on a phone call to get a policy because they have not had somebody that really care to take care of them and to give them options. Like we have all these companies to be able to provide the best, you know, opportunity for that client and the best uh, policy. And I think that's huge, guys. Yeah. Dick, now how many leads do you think you dial a day? Uh, right now, because because I have some intentional leads right now and they're booking appointments, it makes it easier for me. Like before I used to dial 500 dials, like seriously, like whatever it took. Now it only take me like 25 calls and I could write whatever amount of, of business for the day. But I'm okay. I'm also recruiting a lot and um and training the, the new agents. Yeah. So so you're, you're new agents that come on. How many dials are they making in a day? How many calls do you think? Until they get somebody on the phone. So I give them all leads to get started. So they have to dial those three times each. They get 25, three times each. You got to call them at different times. We've got to get a sale from those. And then we're going to buy the new ones as they, we're generating them. Because sometimes I don't have a lot of those. Remember, I have a whole team and one lead source that I'm trying to feed into these people. Um, so they call until like 100, 300. It doesn't matter. Whatever it takes for them to get that that policy or at least to get better on the phone because that's what happens right i'm like dude you're not getting iol leads until you get really good with this leads like the old ones call those first so they dial they come in and they dial your old leads yes they do until they make a sale on them until and then when they're ready i'm like okay let, let me hear you okay now boom 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 they get it they get in it quicker now because now we have more people right that are training that are writing business so now it's easier but at the beginning it wasn't that easy to do yeah. They have but I learn. think, but I think my point with that too, Digna, is just to like just give people a comparison. Some people are calling twenty dials and then going home. Some people are making thirty-two dials and then calling it a day, right? Some people are like, "Oh, I called three people and then they didn't answer." And shoot, I went through my you know sixteen leads. So what do I do? Like I'm talking hundreds, guys. Like Digna's doing so well, and obviously she's you know got her ripped down everything but like our agents are coming and they she they're not allowed to move on to the next leads until they make hundreds of dials on digna's old leads so i think too we get in this idea that like oh digna's you know you're like they're like dude digna's giving her team leads it's like dude digna's giving her her old leads that she's already done a hundred times and then they're making sales on those because they're dialing them hundreds of times and then they're moving on to the next level where they're going to get the iul leads right but the point is i think a lot of times digna people get stuck in that first initial spot of making like three dials. And then they're like, oh, I made three dials. Let's go. Or they're like, oh, it's three o'clock. You know, as some people sometimes are like, oh, shoot, Marissa, I got to hop off at 1.30. I'm like, what are you doing at 1.30 p.m., right? Like, I'm like, what What? what would be scheduled at 1.30 p.m.? Like, aren't we working the whole day today, right? So the reality is like, 
those are the things that like, it doesn't matter the lead source guys, they're dialing them hundreds of times. Her agents are making hundreds of dials before they even think about leaving the office or the zoom virtual in-person, whatever it is, right? They're, but they're having hundreds of leads old, new, doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. So this idea that like, oh, this is some special sauce. Like it's actually harder because she's generating her own leads. Imagine if they could just go in and buy the leads out of the ILC. Like we can't. That's right. And so not to, not to be rude, Digna, but we should be doing better than you on us. A hundred percent better because you got so many options and choices to do it. It's just that we're not doing the work. Because when I was, I was dialing like 500 dials in a dial day to be able to make sales. Like that day that I got 138 three times each is like over 300 dials to get that sale. I said, okay, that's, One that's, sale. I just got to keep going and I know I'm going to get the sale, right? Some of you guys are giving up right before you get to that sale. And then you get that momentum because momentum is huge because now you're like, oh, I got a sale. When is the next time to make another sale right after that, for that sale that you got, like you, you got that momentum, just go right back at it. Some people just take a break. And they just want to slow down. You have a good week and you want to take a break. No, I want to do a lock-in if I have a good week. Let's go. Let's get everybody together. And I think that's the, the the you know, you got to sacrifice something. And, and I, I saw so many people having success in this business. And I'm like, it's, they only been here three years, four years, five years. I mean, corporate America wants you to give them 40 years, guys. And I think we like not understanding that you got to put the grind and the, and the work for those two, three years, but it's nonstop because you got to let it compound. Some people show up for a week and then I don't see them for two weeks and then they come back and I'm like, you got to start all over every single time. And that's what kills everyone's business. They keep restarting their business. I don't want to lose my momentum, guys. I want to keep going. I want to put like, you know, gasoline into the fire. That's what I'm doing right now. Like I, I, I don't want to stop. Because when you do, guess what? You do more than your entire team. So you stop. Guess what you did, your team is doing? Like absolutely nothing. Yeah. And two guys, another thing too that like Digna so great at is she's not above anything, right? So like Digna still texts me as good as she's doing and as much as she's producing. She texts me last week. Hey, do you have any leads? And you have any old leads? I was that <laughs> your old appointments. Let's... Yeah. She's like, hey. Do you have any appointments that you missed? I want to call them and sell them. Can I, I, I tell you? Use my Spanish leads. I'm like, give me some of your Yeah, she's like, can you send me your English leads? I'm going to dial them. Like, it doesn't matter, right? And if I tell her I've dialed them 100 times and they're 17 months old, Digna's like, it's okay, send them over. Send, send them, them over. over. And then she'll text me and she'll be like, closed one. So like, the reality is, guys, that also, you can't cheat the grind. Like, she's one of the best salespeople we have. She's one of the best leaders that we have. And she's that, and that's why she's so good. She texts me, hey, Marissa, can I have your leads out of your CRM? I know you're not dialing them. And I'm like, okay, Digna, I'll give them to you. And she'll text me and she closes them and it doesn't matter. They're years old, two years old, a year old, doesn't matter. Months old, she's like, closed one. Who cares, right? So like, that's the thing too, is like, there's not a secret sauce to get to get a point where you don't have to do the work. That's not a thing. You're not gonna like get bigger and all of a sudden be a 40K producer or a 50K producer or have this big agent saying to be like, you know what? I don't, I don't, I could just do all these shortcuts. Like there's no shortcuts. The shortcut is to do what you did to get there, which is super important. Um, so Diggs, I think you're great. People are asking for a script. Do you have a special script or do you just use one? Well, th this is what, I, let's say I have an IO client. So it's simple for me. Like, hey, John, this is Digna. I'm the financial professional. This is what I say. That has been assigned to you. And you know what, Desiree, how about you share the what I share with you? I gave my script to Desiree the other day that I use. So you can share with everybody. I'm okay with that. That's that is so simple, guys. Uh, hey, John, this is Digna. I'm the financial professional that was assigned to help you with the IUL. Great. Oh, awesome. I see your birthday here. 10, 15, 1971. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, John. So tell me, what do you like most about what you saw in that IUL? You know, whatever you saw on Instagram, on Facebook, where, wherever you saw the information, what do you like most about it? And he would just tell me. Oh, well, I like the, the tax-free retirement or I want, you know, whatever, the living benefits. Oh, cool. Awesome. So, Dick, then, oh, real yeah. quick, what if, what if they say, I don't freaking know what you're talking about. Can't remember. I don't even know what you're saying right now. Well, John, you submitted this information online for us. So I have an email, blah, 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 blah. Is that, is that, is that your email? Yeah, that's where it yeah. came from. So, John, tell me, what do you like most about the IULs? Is it the tax-free re retirement or is it the living benefits? I just keep going. Like, I don't, I don't even hear them. 
like I just keep going and then they usually like yeah I like I like whatever right so I try to just show myself very calm I'm not selling I'm having a conversation with John hey John okay cool John let me tell you something um IULs are great but here's one thing I don't care how much money you have you cannot buy them you got to qualify for them so you need to qualify with three things is your health your driving record, your criminal record, and your income. So those are the three things I'm going to talk to you about today. And I just go and do my presentation with them. Um, and I make it very simple, conversational with the client. And let me tell you, it's so much easier that way. I don't sound that I'm super smart. I'm not talking about, some people complicate these things. Oh my gosh. They're not, I'm not talking about all the complicated stuff. I leave that for the other people in here that do IULs. I make it so easy. Like I know the concept very, very well, but I never did, like I never sold IULs before. I sold infinite banking. It's a whole other concept. So I have to learn this thing and I'll just make it simple. Don't complicate this guys. And I, I see some of my agents, they're not closing. And I listen to them. I say, of course, you're not going to close anything because you sound like you, you freaking work in a bank or something like you sound so professional. That's not going to work. You got to talk down to these people, like to their level, like they don't know S&P 500 and all of this other stuff. Don't, just bring it down a little bit. Have a conversation. They want, they have $300 a month that they want to put into an IUL. You just got to help them find the right company and qualify them because they can't buy it. They got to get it. Here's one thing that I've learned from Shadi that changed my uh, premiums, guys. This is huge. Write this now. He said to be, and I listened to this. He was in um in the Grady. What's uh the Monday Thursday, whenever he was on, yeah on Thursday Apple America. He said this, and you guys probably didn't listen. He said to people, "Hey John, people around your age, they do between five and ten percent of their monthly income into an IUL. So you're you made this much, five thousand a month." That's around two fifty or five hundred dollars for you. So what amount were you thinking, like between those two? Like he's not giving an option of a hundred dollars or fifty dollars. It's like five percent to ten percent or ten percent of more if they're a little older. Oh, I was thinking the minimum. All right, so five percent that's about two hundred and fifty dollars, right? So we're not even talking about anything less than two fifty. We're moving on from there. Right. So because we're going to look at what John really needs. Right. If it has any kids under the age of 18, if the wife working or is she part time and is this only his income. So you have to dig in and find out, do the financial inventory. That is so important when you're doing an IUL because you're going to find more money. That's one thing. And you're going to find out how much they really need for that IUL. So, yeah. Just dig I, want to, I want to hit you with one more real quick. So you're in the presentation, you go through whole illustration and then they're like, oh, Digna, you know what? That sounds really good. Thank you so much for showing that to me. I just, I want to talk this over with my family. I want to think about it. And then I'm going to call you back and we can put in the application later. Yeah, no, we didn't do that, John. So first of all, John, I'm not showing you any numbers. So I know you committed and you already gave me a driver's license and we, we're going in with the sale. Like I don't waste my time with people. Like I know from the beginning, if John doesn't want to give me some information from the beginning for me to like go into and do an illustration, I'm not going to waste my time, right? And then when I do, I'm like, John, no, you don't understand. Like, you know, um, we don't send anything. Like they will send, send it to me on email. No, no, we don't do that, John, you know? And I tell the story, one of my girls, it really happened to her. She said, you know what? Jessica is one of my, one of the agents in the agency. Um, she did a presentation just, just like I'm doing for, for you for an IUL. And then uh, the lady said, just send me everything and I, I'll let you know, I'm not ready. I'm going to think about it. And then a week later, her son was calling uh, the agent and say, hey, my mom have you saved on the phone and you're the insurance agent, right? And she has a, a policy with you. She said, no, your mom said she was going to think about it. He said, oh my gosh, she, she got hit by a bus and she died and we don't have a life insurance. I thought she did one. She said, no, because she didn't give me the information. I told him that story. And I said, John, we, we're going to have to put this today to see if you qualify. And then here's the thing you got to give me at least five to seven days because I don't make the decision. The company has to decide whether or not they want to do this for you and if you qualify for this. So let's go ahead and finish the application and then I just I just move on. Like I don't take no for an answer unless they really like jerks and they're like, okay, goodbye, next. I'm not going to stay there. That's huge. 
You're a beast, my friend. I'm so proud of you. You guys are going to do like 300 grand this month. Oh my gosh. We are on fire, girl. I'm, I'm like so excited. Well, I'm very proud of you. Anything. And guys, the thing about this is a lot of times people get on some of these calls. I'm going to be honest with you. And they don't live by what they say. Digna 100% lives by it. Okay. When I go to her lock-in or we have a lock-in together, she's like, I don't even want to say it. It's like drill sergeant up in there. You have to be up at five. She makes you meditate. She doesn't let us get donuts. Last time I tried to get sugar-free Red Bull and she threw it out because she said that was bad and I wasn't going to sell anything if I drink sugar-free Red Bull. So she's like legit, legit means what she says, which I think is huge, right? Because like she's actually doing this stuff every day. She's not getting on this call and saying, hey guys, I dial a bunch of dials when she doesn't actually do it. She's doing this eat, sleep and breathe every single day. And that's why I had to stop going to her lock-ins because I don't have any good snacks. No, I'm just kidding. But um, she means that, guys, and that's huge. So, Digna, anything, I know we kind of gone long, anything, one last thing you'd love to leave the team with? Because if we can do half of what you're doing, we'll be yes. successful. I tell you what, guys, just make a decision tonight. If you're going to be here, be here. Like, do it. Like, don't just waste anybody's time. Don't waste your own time and your family's time. Because people, they see you doing this and they like hoping for you. Like you're going to do something good. And some of you guys are just like not doing this, like, like pretending like we're not kids, like get it done. Like I made a decision and that's all it takes. Like make a decision that you're going to recruit, that you're going to go ahead and, and, and do 20K in a month. No one, absolutely no one is going to stop you. Forget about everybody else and, and make it, make it like, make a decision. Like I'm going to do this and what's it going to take. And it's going to be very simple. Create a schedule for yourself that you're going to follow, like show up every day, no matter what. And, and it's not like for eight hours. It's until you get it done. Like it does, sometime I'm here at 11 o'clock at night because somebody in California has an appointment at 10 and I'm going to do it. Right. So just do it until you, you hit your goals. And don't just talk about it. I hear people saying they're going to do this and they're going to do that. And I'm already creating a flyer for what I'm going to, like, I'm already, I'm, I'm already doing it, right? Like, don't wait on anyone because this is about your family, your legacy, like you deserve this and it's available to you. Like, I realized that, like, I'm like, this is available to me. Like, I have a license that I could do this and I could have other people do it with me why not? Why not you? And why not now? Like, this is our time. In this agency, we're blessed. Like, we have somebody like Maritza, like, she really cares about people. And I don't say this because she's here, because she knows, like, I drive her crazy. And I'm always, like, reaching out because she is so helpful to me. And she's the one person, like, when things are bad, go up. Don't go down to your people. Go up and talk to your upline and look for help. And then when people give you help, just get it done. Like, don't ask again for the same thing. Like, go ahead and do it. They tell you, buy leads, buy leads. Like, do social media, do social media. Show up on the dial days, show up, make the dials, call the people, work on Saturday, work on Sunday until you make it happen for you and your family. Like, today is your day to make that decision for yourself. It is not difficult. It's doable for every single one of us. We just got to want it bad enough. And I for sure want this bad enough, girl. I'm ready. Well, we love you and we're proud of you. Thank you so much for helping out the team. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you guys. You're the best. Proud of you guys. Let's crush it. And we will see you all on live dials tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.